I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, it's holiday season and a lame duck Congress. But it's a crazy real estate market. Should you buy your house? Should you sell your house right now or wait till next year? We'll answer that and plenty more. It's just ahead that You Have Real Estate. If you've been threatened by the IRS, you're not helpless. I'm attorney Justin Clark. You have the power to fight wage garnishments and to fight levies on your account. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your life. This is a special offer from IQ Power Solar. Stop paying high electric bills with a solar power system from IQ Power Solar. And now it's never been easier. IQ Power Solar can give you immediate electric bill relief right now when you go solar. IQ Power Solar will reimburse you for your very next electric bill. Plus, if you're a first responder, IQ Power Solar will pay your program payment for the rest of the year. Call 407-585-1018 now or visit iqpowersolar.com. Welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like hitting multiple open houses throughout Orlando, but with my attorney advice throughout the way. If you have any questions whatsoever during the show, I have people standing by right now at that phone number. It's 407 205 0400. If you want to start your house hunt for your dream home this weekend, Dallas Lehman also standing by at the very same phone number 407-205-0400. Hey, a great show on tap for you today. You will not want to miss one single minute, but first it's time for my opening statement. The opening statement today is brought to you by my good friends at IQ Power Solar. As you know, I went solar this past year and I saved over $500 a month on my electricity bill. But maybe more importantly for me this year, I owe $10,000 in taxes to the IRS because I went solar. I had to pay zero dollars in taxes. You got that right. I saved $10,000 on my tax bill and you can do the exact same thing if you go solar, but you have to act now. Please call Stephen Bader, the COO of IQ Power Solar immediately because the year is almost over. You need that tax credit right now. You can reach him at 407-205-0400. Steve, tell me how you did it for me. Live here on site with the COO of IQ Power Solar, Stephen Bader. I already had solar installed on my house. I wanted to see his crew in action against Steve. You must admit, this is the most talented crew in all of solar. I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> you, I mean, the, you know, the guys are, are doing a great job up there, obviously, Mo professional. I mean, solar can have some people and some businesses that aren't so good. What separates IQ Power Solar? Well, it's really valuable to have your own install crew um, instead of subcontractors, etc. So these guys work together year after year. They've done a lot of trainings together. Every time there's a new product that comes to market, they go to manufacturer trainings. Um, we're actually a warranty center for a lot of manufacturers, which is which is really cool and it distinguishes us, uh, especially when it comes to servicing. Um, but really, it's just about cohesiveness. You know, these guys, they get here in the morning, they, re they review the engineer drawings together. Sometimes they review the drawings in the office um, on, a, on, a ch on a chalkboard environment when there's, when there's you know, problems and stuff like that. But they, they lay it out and, 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 and then just, just execute. So it, it's really cool when they have a lot of experience together, just like, just like anything else. There's something to be said for one truck, two trucks, three trucks, all with <laughs> the, the logo on there. Everyone has the same shirt, IQ Power Solar. I mean, this is a real professional organization. We try. And Stephen Bader, IQ Power Solar, thanks for uh, coming out today. Of course. It's holiday season. We have a lame duck president. We have a lame duck Congress. So the big question that we're hearing right now is, should I buy a house right now? Should I sell a house right now? Or should I wait till next year when things shake out a little bit? I've invited really the best agents in town today to help us answer that question. But also with all this uncertainty, in the market, in the economy, a lot of people on Robin Hood investing in the stock market is now the time to actually use some of that money to invest in a vacation home. I have Dawood Bedrosian here to answer that question for us as well. And we're gonna do that by asking real questions. 
And now it's time for Real <coughs> Questions. Every Saturday here on You Have Real Estate, I ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate market. Today on the show, returning visitors, J.J. Mackle, Sherry Dyer. Hey, welcome yeah. back. How, how have you girls been doing, by the way? Fantastic. Busy. We are so busy. <laughs> what, what's going on? So we, we know that it's a weird time politically. Should I wait to buy or should I wait to sell till next year? You should definitely sell now if you're in Central Florida. And you should also buy now because you're not going to see interest rates stay this low. No matter who becomes president in the end, I think that interest rates will have to, you know, rise. So money is cheap. Why? You better buy. And people now, after the COVID thing, they want to be closer to their friends and family. If you had a five-year plan, we're seeing people want to get to the end of that five-year plan sooner because the whole COVID lockdown thing. Is this maybe, JJ, one of the first times it's ever been a great time to sell and buy? And I say that because everyone says it's a seller's market, but then we have interest rates at 2.7%, meaning it's almost free money. I, I don't remember another time where it's a great time to buy or sell. I would describe this in one word, opportunity. I've never seen opportunities like this in um, my life. Um, it's You've got buyers have more buying power and sellers have more power because there's less inventory. So yes, I would absolutely describe it that way. Uh, holiday season's here, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. How would you expect the market to react through the end of the year through the holidays, Sherry? Well, here in Central Florida, everybody comes to visit their friends and family and their moms and their dads and their grandparents <laughs> here. Yeah. So we are going to be so busy and we will be working through Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's. I am usually very, very busy during the holiday season because of all the people that come to visit the relatives. You probably don't want to go here, but uh, I'm, I've heard a lot of people call me saying, I want to sell everything because of what happened in the election. Can an election affect the real estate market here? Oh, yes. Um, a lot of people um, we saw during the election, it was slow and then it was hot and then it was slow. It's sort of like what the stock market's doing right now. Um, but I think in Florida, we're sort of exempt from that just because businesses have been open. We have the low tax rates. Um, people are ready to live in a pandemic friendly environment. What do you say, Sherry? I, will, I agree with you, JJ. I think that, um, you know, our governor, he is great about not totally locking us down like some of the other um, states and cities have been. So that is really big and that people want to come here because they know they, they need to get out of their house. I mean, you've got a mass exodus in New York City, you know, all sorts of stuff happening. I read, I saw on the news today where in Michigan, they want you to wear your mask in your own house. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how are you going to police yeah. that? I mean, come on. There's no <laughs> singing at holiday parties this year either, I've heard, no, in many yeah. states. So just, if you're excited about singing for Thanksgiving, don't, uh, come don't to get Florida. too excited this year. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have been bullish on the Florida real estate market for a while now. I mean, last year, if you look at the numbers, about 900 people a day moved to Florida every day last year. It's like creating a city the size of Orlando every year. However, there's I think it's inarguable at this point that that number will go up. That number is going Absolutely. to increase. Look at the numbers in New York City. Look at the people moving to Florida. Now, that 900 a day number last year is going to increase, Sherry. Absolutely. So four days ago it was um, the New York Post uh, mentioned that in the last eight months over 300,000 uh, New Yorkers have done a change of address leaving um, the five boroughs there in New York City and that just says everything we're seeing that even in California we've got a lot of California buyers we have a lot of buyers coming from um, all across the Midwest your Detroit area and things like that up from South Florida even so I see it's in the developments just, um, if you look around around at some of these areas that are hot, what's going on development wise is showing that builders and commercial real estate um, know what the hot areas are to live in. Like in College Park, you know, you've got the packing district um, and the new Four Rivers place. Um, in the beaches, the beaches are hot. I've never, it, I am regretting not buying a three bedroom there. So I might buy the <laughs> listing that we're featuring. Yeah. But Merritt Island, we're almost going through another yeah. space age, you know? Right. I yeah. mean, and everyone's moving out there. A lot of people from Windermere I know are moving out to the beach area. So. Occasionally on the show, I get accused of being too optimistic. I promise you, if, if they 
things were looking terrible, I'd tell you, yeah, you know, head for the hills or whatever. <laughs> things are, I've never seen a market like this, and I know I've been telling you this every week for, for six months now, but it's crazy. But it's also a great time to buy because of those rates. So if you buy a house right now, are you overpaying a little bit? Yeah, maybe you are overpaying a little bit, but if it's a house that you're gonna live in, who cares? Compare it to what you would pay for rent at the house down the street, and even no matter what you pay for the house now, with the rate at 2.7%, you're gonna pay less PITI on this mortgage than you are for rent. There's just no way around it. Million dollar houses though, Sherry, they take forever to sell, right? No, not anymore, Justin. So the um, Aura, the Orlando Regional Realtor Association, uh, their statistics the last two months have been that we have had a 100% increase in home selling over a million dollars. So like three or four months ago, I believe we had like 25 sales and then the next month we had 55 and then it's just been increasing. Again, it's because of the, um, we have people that have lived in cities that is very costly, it takes more money to live in those cities. They come to Orlando and they really get a deal. So for a yeah. million bucks, you get so much more. So our million dollar homes are flying off the shelf. And if you have a million dollar home you'd like to sell, please call. <laughs> and again, and again, a million dollar house right now at where the rates where they are is what, 4,800 a month PITI, something yeah. like that. So well, that's a lot of money, sure. But if you're the kind of person that can afford a million dollar house, you, you can afford the 4,800. And well, to when, rent the house, you're looking at 10 grand. Yeah, when interest rates were six, seven, eight hmm. percent, you know. Eight grand. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, uh, was seven, eight so grand a month for that very exactly same house. Now, so. speaking of houses, you girls brought three awesome listings to show us. And look, this is everyone's favorite part of the show anyway. Let's take some tours together of these three listings. We're going to start here in New Smyrna Beach, as JJ was talking about, the place that she wants to buy herself. So, look, we don't know <laughs> this one's going to be on the market long because uh, JJ wants to buy it. JJ, tell me about South Atlantic mm -hmm. Avenue. I would absolutely love to. Um, this one is 5301 South Atlantic Avenue. It's number 26. It's in Shoreham by the Sea. And just to show you how popular it is, we mostly get offers from people who already live there. Oh. Um, the owner was approached by a couple of people who live there to buy it early, but she said she wanted to list it, and I was very thankful. Yes. Um, and Sherry and I, Sherry is also, um, we're a member of the new Smyrna Beach board of realtors as well so we've listed it on both mls's um it's near canal street sherry and i love going up there and hosting open houses and then having a few cocktails yeah. there later on um but it's a two bedroom two bath it's priced at 450 um it's 1100 square feet it's on the second floor so it has a straight on view of the beach which the um, seller loves that's one of the reasons she bought it originally um she rents it out periodically, and then in between those other times, um, people stay there um, with friends and family, and then um, she has the whole rental information for anyone who's interested. Um, and we are starting to get a ton of showings already because this area is popular. I think it's a great time to buy a second home or a vacation home because, I mean, let's be honest, who wants to get on a plane and, and travel to, to Utah this year or go to Washington or maybe we have that uh, European trip we've been wanting to do. No one wants to do that right now. But what, 45 minutes down the road, you can have your own little slice of paradise. That's yours. Like that closet has your kids clothes in it that you don't have to pack up the, the whole uh, suitcase every time you go to the, your vacation paradise. Right, and, and they have um, owner's closets because it also allows yeah. you to be able to lease it out. So if you want to cover your taxes and yeah. your HOA fee, lease it out for, you know, 10 weeks a year, or however, whatever it takes. Yep. Uh, amid, uh, if you want to talk to JJ about this property, you'd like to see the property, call her right now at 407-205-0400. Now, a mere 45 to 50 minutes back down this way in Orlando, we have West Smith Street. Yes, this is another hot property. We show it nonstop. Um, we have some offers coming in as we speak. Um, it's on a double lot, which in College Park is definitely, um, you know, a prime yeah. rib steak. You know, it's <laughs> awesome. Um, it also has boat and um, RV parking. Um, the lot is huge. So we've had a lot of builders interested and also people looking to renovate. Um, 
it has a pool, which obviously is also pandemic friendly. Everyone's looking for it. And it's very, it's spacious. It's 2278 square feet. Mm. So a lot of people for that price, it's priced at 389, think it's a deal. That's um, a mansion in College Park, actually. Yeah, exactly. It really is. I mean, that's a really great sized home uh, for, for College Park. Yeah, I've had um, someone come look at the survey and the land and they were wanting to do, and this is totally related to COVID, um, put in a putting course and then with some lights and make yeah. it almost like not a bed and breakfast, but <laughs> set it up like yeah. that. Um, but yes, um, it has three bedrooms, two baths. Um, it has two family room areas, um, updated kitchen. So it's a beautiful property. And again, it's right smack dab in the middle of College Park. So it's yeah. near the Four Roots Farm. It's near Dubstrad um, and Steve's, uh, where Sherry and I frequent <laughs> um, at the tap room and McRae Art Studios. And also downtown UCF has really transformed the area around it. Um, so there's a lot of really <clears throat> cool developments going on. Uh, College Park is great, I think, for young families too. People with the young kids or even empty nesters, I feel like oh, really yeah. love College College Park as well. It's a great neighborhood. It's walkable. It's set up in a grid format, yep. so you always know where you are. Now, if you want to spend a couple of extra dollars on, a, <laughs> on an absolute uh, dreamy paradise, I would call it, mansion, uh, tell me about Houston Road. Where is this? Well, this is on Lake Killarney, mm. um, right across from uh, the famous, well, I still call it um, Houston's, but it's Hillstone, <laughs> right. if you've been around. And it is on the point. It is um, a double lot. It you bring your seaplane. There are about there. I know of three um, lakes that you can land a seaplane yeah. lake down. This one, there's one in Castleberry. I'm sure there's a couple others, but close by, this is the only one in Winter Park where you can bring your seaplane. So you have a 1.5 buildable acres, and um, it you could it is two lots right now. He's selling the whole parcel for 4.2 million for both lots so you could divide it up and sell off a portion and then take the other oh. when you look it up in the tax rolls it, because of the riparian rights it's going to say a little over like eight acres and but the buildable acres is 1.5 and it is just a beautiful piece of property you could just and talk about building your dream home and there's boating and it's a large lake and it's a very active lake um, a lot of people boat on it they paddle board they do nature watching scenic strolls and that whole area in itself is on fire yeah, yeah that lake is 234 acres arguably arguably maybe the most valuable residential lot in that part of town at this point. Well, it's your own you little say? private peninsula. Yeah, yeah, it's your own private peninsula, 432 feet of lake frontage. And you can swim to Hillstone, but can you, you swim could. home? <laughs> <laughs> I, think for sure. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent no, job. Not, not after the COVID wave. <laughs> <laughs> if you, uh, trust me, I'm the same exact. Next year. Next, next year, year we'll, we'll do it. We'll if, try you, it. <laughs> if you'd like to see any of these properties, you'd like to sell your house or see other properties, call JJ and Sherry right now. The phone number, 407. 205 0400. Zero zero. All right, we're going to take a quick break, flip a coin to see who stay, who's staying for the real estate roundtable. I'm going to make Sherry stay. You're going to make Sherry <laughs> stay. JJ, stay. it was great to see you as Thank always. You so Hope you'll come back and see us soon. Keep up the good work, okay? I appreciate it. Quick break ahead. It's going to be a quick one. We'll be right back as you have real estate rolls on. Just in case you haven't heard lately, mortgage rates are at historic lows. In my entire career, I have never seen them dip this low. Now may be your best time, too own your dream home and stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent, refinance to a lower rate to save money on your monthly mortgage payment, or pay off high interest credit card and other debt. My name is Dallas Lehman, president of You Have Mortgage. No one knows when rates will begin to climb again, but they will and can go back up quickly. Call me today so we can tailor your historic rate and program. Our premier under one roof team is here to provide our very best for you. Welcome back to the show. Happy to have Dawood Bedrosian here with Remax Dawood. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Weird time in, in the economy. It's a great real estate market, but then all these people, too, have invested in Robinhood and all these different apps and where, where you can put money now. And Correct. it seems like things could get a little volatile. What do you think about investing in real estate right now? When I say investing, I mean in a vacation home or a second home. So. 
as we've discussed over the past few weeks during the radio show with you, I think there is no better time to invest in our Central Florida market than now. Interest rates, as we all know, are at an all-time low. And I find that there's a ton of people that I'm getting phone calls from that are coming in from the Northeast, and there's a ton of international buyers that have bought properties here that are now either A, selling off those properties and looking at second homes or vacation homes from a lot of the investments that they had purchased 10 years ago. So I think it's a really great time to buy at low interest rates. I think in this specific sector, you can actually even get some really great deals for a lot of people that have been sitting on some of these properties and actually want to offload them now as well too. I think that if you lived in Egypt uh, near the pyramids, you would see the pyramids every day and say, oh, wow, it's a pyramid. I've seen that before. For us, it's uh, crazy, you know? We live in Orlando, the vacation mecca Correct. of the world. We don't understand that because we live it every day that we literally live in the vacation mecca of the world. How does that change our strategy when it comes to investing in real estate? Well, I th if you're looking at it from a local perspective, I think all you have to do is just change the lens here. So I think from a local perspective, um, there are definitely a lot of opportunities where people can take advantage of purchasing a second home, which they can use, especially during the times that we have where they can work from home and actually treat it as a second home. And it could be a home, for example, at the beach or even down by Disney yeah. that could be a four to a 13 bedroom house with your own private swimming pool. That way you're insulated, you don't have to interact with anybody else, and you can definitely have your whole family there and enjoy all the amenities that a lot of these great resorts offer. And then from the other perspective too, you can also rent these properties out because what we're finding is you get a lot of local drive tra um, tourism that are coming from neighboring states. And there's a lot of people from the Northeast that are saying, you know what, if I'm gonna get locked up, I'm gonna drive down to Florida and I'm gonna enjoy your property. It's a cheaper cost of living, and it's better than being locked up in a little box apartment in Manhattan sure. or wherever you're at in the cold weather right now. Is there a difference in a vacation home versus a second home? I think it comes down to what I'd like to call an end investment, which mm -hmm. is END investment. So it's how you actually like to use your investment in the end. So yes, you can use that same property as a home that you will not rent, that you have personally furnished and enjoy it for yourself and your family and relatives that are coming into town, or you can take advantage of it and actually make money on that same property and have it leased out when you're not there yeah. to cover your expenses that you may have, and in many cases, even the mortgage. For both of you, is there any place right now I can find a decent deal on a vacation or second home? Well, probably down in the Osceola County. Yeah, correct. The thing about um, this, the vacation homes is in Orange County and Seminole County, you can't do short-term rental. No. Mm. Um, we protect Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World made those laws so that Orange and Seminole <clears throat> County, you can't do that short-term, and they're even yeah. becoming more strict on that Airbnb. Correct. So you want, if you own a home down in the Osceola County, um, Osceola County, then that's where you can make more money because you have more money. They can they can stay there a month. They can stay there two months. They can stay there a week. So that option is um, more attractive to a lot of people. So I think that right now I've sold probably two vacation homes in the last six months, mm -hmm. and actually both of those sellers have called me. They want to come back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, hey. Yeah, they they want to come back because it's cold up there. Yeah, when right. I was in like yeah. Nebraska or something, and um, it's just getting cold, and they want to come back to the warm weather, and they feel safe here. Right. It's a very safe area. That's what I think yeah, and is I, important. To add to your safety. point, I, I think there's there's two factors to that. I think that a lot of the people that purchased a lot of these properties a number of years ago are now taking advantage of offloading the property, taking advantage of an exchange rate if they're a foreigner. Yeah by making whatever income that they've made, the appreciation on the property, and even more than that, this is essentially a real estate asset on steroids. Right. Because there's a foreign exchange factor that you can even get an additional lift, where in some cases can be upwards of 30% as well too. Okay. And in that same token, I can tell you, this segment also offers an opportunity for people to take advantage of and inexpensive properties, because I'm looking 
at properties right now that are three bedrooms that are sub $120,000 for condos that are vacation rental in the Oso County um, area. And the owners have been sitting on these properties. They haven't been generating the income that they uh, would have liked to have gotten. And in this case, it's been a bit of a liability for them. And other people have taken advantage of this and used this as a second home with the potential to rent it out as in, uh, more and more tourists start to come down and rent these properties and definitely into 2021. We talked about this yeah. yesterday. I think, you know, there's a lot of people that have this pent up energy that are waiting for Orlando to open up and waiting to come down to Disney. <laughs> Disney has just increased their capacity from 25 to 35%. So we're definitely getting more tourism. These vacation homes are renting out more and more as uh, the months go by. We have Thanksgiving around the corner, second week of December, all the way to the beginning of January is going to be a hot time to rent out your vacation property. So if you're looking to purchase a vacation property, take advantage of the rentals that you can get with this investment. Now. I, I, I agree right now. And speaking of investing in vacation homes, I'm going to show you a couple right now. And uh, you can call Dawood and see these right away. Uh, Marker Avenue. Tell me about this one. So it's the only bungalow style barrel tile roof home in all of Encore at Reunion. Yeah. It's four bedrooms, four baths. And one of the interesting things about this property in particular is that it is one of the smaller homes that they offer out of the, the models that range all the way up to a 12 bedroom. It's perfect for a group of golfers to come down. It's perfect for a small family to take advantage of this home. And this home rents out like crazy. I think one of the challenges that I've actually had is actually getting people in there because the home is rented out. Oh, really? So often. The time. Like, I want to stay a yeah. couple yeah. nights. Jeez. We have that in it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. What, what is the price point on this one? So the price point on that one is $419,900. And um, yeah, it's a great deal. It rents out like crazy, and it's definitely one to consider if you're looking for a resort that has a ton of amenities. Um, there's a beautiful water park over there, restaurants on site, tennis courts, uh, basketball, the whole work. Yeah, the developer did a great yeah. job. Yeah, I know. It's a great, Good. great place. I mean, if you'd like to see the property, Dawood will show it to you today Absolutely. at 407-205-0400. And lastly, King's Castle Circle. Where yeah. is this? Uh, Story Lake. Different um, size of home. We're looking at a six bedroom, five bath home, uh, just over 3,200 square feet has the pool, the jacuzzi, all the bells and whistles that you want. And the best thing about both of these homes is that, that they both come furnished. So you can actually That's walk right. in, yeah. it's turnkey, you don't have to purchase anything else. If you're coming to use it as a second home, just come with your own luggage. If you're looking to use it for the investment, <laughs> yep. obviously enjoy the property around the bookings that you have. <laughs> Take advantage of the income that you're having uh, from these properties, but it's it's a no-brainer. I mean, the whole furnished thing probably saves at a minimum, what, 10 grand uh, at try least? 30 to 100. Really? Yeah, I'd say 25 to 40 Dang. and yeah. some of the lower. I mean, yeah. for some of the properties that we have had, <laughs> right? We won't name uh, yeah. furniture companies' names or no, anything. But, no, You know, there's this place and then there's this no, place. But I mean, I, I think for a lot of the people that are trying to use these homes as investment properties mm -hmm. and second homes, when you're looking at a 12, 13, 14 bedroom houses, we're looking at over $70,000 in furniture. Wow. Packages, so, and yeah. if you yeah. buy it furnished, like, literally, you're not bringing anything. anything. No. They'll probably put bottles of water in the refrigerator yeah. for you if you want. And the key to really having a great investment property is your management company. Correct. That Correct. is the absolute key to make sure they keep up with the maintenance, that Correct. they take inventory. Um, that is really so important yep. to keeping your asset at its... I think, you know, in, in addition to that, there's a couple of key things that you, I would always advise my clients to look at when they're looking at properties like this, which is, A, look at the community, because everybody's after all the bells and whistles. When you're coming to rent a property, you're looking at a property on the internet, sure. in your home, and you're thinking, well, you know, will little Johnny like the movie theater in here? Mm -hmm. And would they like the game room? And, would, and oh, you know, we're going to have a great time going to the water park, for example. Right. After that, I would say, what upgrades does the home come with? What additional amenities can it offer its guests? How upgraded is the flooring? What does the kitchen look like? Exactly. And then look at the rentals, because without yeah. a strong management company, yeah, and, that's key. and you'll never get those answers without a strong real estate agent. agent. And I'd right. like to thank, thank Dawood Bedrosi and thank JJ you. Mackle, thank who's you. still back there watching, and Sherry Dyer. Thank you guys all so much. I think that was a great show. Good thank job you. today. Uh, most so importantly, much. thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about what we talked about, you know how to find us. 407-205-0400. I'm 
Justin Clark. I'll see you next week on You Have Real Estate.